Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing episode 114 of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got a system from an unknown user as their name makes no sense, it's just a bunch of um, syllables and icons and colons and stuff so I, there's nothing for me to read here, it's just icons. So yeah, apologies um, for that, but yeah, I, I, I can't read their names, it's just syllables. Um, but yeah, we've got one system um, to do today, and it's called the Mullum system. So if whoever made it, if you want to come forward and say who you are, then um, please let me know, because I, I don't know who this is, because <laughs> they're icon they've changed their name and all their icon, their, their names just turned to icons. But yeah, let's get into their system, so let's see what they're prepared um, for us. So let's go ahead to the search, and then go ahead, Right, there we go, and this is system here. So we've already seen some colours and stuff, so it looks pretty interesting. So right, so um, here we go. Um, I don't know, hey, and Neptune. Yeah, okay, so yeah, they have still um, still no idea who actually made this, but let's see what they have got for us. This is it's quite interesting. There's three thousand objects in here. So let's um, let's start off. So we've got the central point in the middle. Is this a Barry sensor? Oh, it's a coloured black hole. Very nice. First one of these we've seen in a custom system, I think. But check it out. So yeah, black hole in the centre of this system. So very. Oh, I really like that. So yeah, there we go. There. Um, so we'll put orbits on just so we're not missing anything. Right. So there we go. So first stop, we got the purple star. So let's go all the way down here and see what we have got. So this is a. I'm guessing this is another black hole. What is this? It is a very strange. Is it a gas? It's, it's a planet. It's not a black hole. Oh, what is this? This is a very strange object. I have absolutely no clue what that could be. It's not obviously like a tinted star or anything. This this registers as a planet. You can see there the composition. That's a very strange object indeed. Wow. But yeah, there we go. Moving on to the um, planets. That actually does look really cool from here. But yeah, it's, um, can we go on realistic or is it? Yeah, so it doesn't work. Okay, so we'll keep on studio. So here, this is Crash Course. It's a very crazy banded gas giant. As we can see, it's mostly yellow, red, and cyan blue in there. Bit of orange as well, I guess. But yeah, there we go there. First planet of the day, starting off with a crazy gas giant right there. So now moving on to the next object, we've got NEP1 over here. So this is going with a, uh, it's a bluish rocky world. It looks like it's a blue tinted ocean under there as well. If we just look under the atmosphere, so yeah, it looks like it's been tinted blue, 100% blue ice, blue oceans there, but with a more whitish cream coloured atmosphere on it there. So yeah, there we go there. That is NEP1. Let's see what its stats are like. So it's um, Super Earth, quite large in size. Decent stats in the 75 and 78 there. So there we go. Very nice indeed. Next planet, we have got um, Paraska over here. And this one is a absolutely insane banded object, as we can see. I mean, there's a ton, an absolute ton of bands in there. I mean, look how many different colours. I mean, look at all this. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty crazy. But you can see just the amount of bands in this thing. That is... That's a pretty crazy object. We don't see many of these in systems. But yeah, there we go there. It's got a little point in the North Pole there, that red area. Not in the south though, but yeah, there we go there. I would, I'm definitely not going to open the menu for this because it will probably crash the game if I try opening it with that many bands. But yeah, there we go. So next up, we got this object out here. So Apama over here. This is a all magenta purple gas giant here. So yeah, there we go. And there is an asteroid miner in orbit of it as well, which is looks to be a tinted Saturn V stage 3. So yeah, there we go there. It's green. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, there we go. And then there's the planet. Okay, and that is that for all of those guys around the purple star. So now moving out to the green star, which is next. I'm guessing we'll see another... Oh no, this one's actually a glowing... I think I've got a copy of an object like this, actually. But yeah, there we go there. So it's a all glowing green gas giant. So it's like a brown dwarf in theory. But yeah, there we go there. No planets in orbit of it, though. It's a lone object out there. Just chilling. So yeah, there we go. Right, now heading out to... Um... Oh, there's also this object here. Oh, this is a tinted star. There we go. See, that, that's a that's a star with some customization on it. So yeah, there we go. So a very light green star there. There's, there's a hackable zone on as well. So we've got quite a lot of objects around this one. So then we've got the first planet around here. That is a beautiful looking world from first glance. Look at that. Wow. Maybe realistic will work here. There we go. So that's how it... Whoa, the starlight on it makes it look really cool as well. Yeah, we'll keep it on the studio. But yeah, very, very nice looking object indeed there. Pink clouds, pink atmosphere. It's got some ice caps, some water. It's got everything really. Um, there we go. So let's um, see down here. So very high stats there. 97 and 54. It's also got one moon called Io Face. I'm guessing it's a tinted Io. Yeah, there we go. It's very, very close to the planet, though. I'm pretty sure that would get torn up by um, Bruce Limit um, if we click play. But yeah, there we go there. Let's turn off the uh, zones and grid. So there we go. All right, so that's in a binary with this gas giant over here. So this is Crema over here. 
It's got a ton of different bands. It's got some mostly browns and oranges in there. We've got some blues and some other colours in the north area. So a very, very funky looking gas giant there. It's also got um, some gas giant moon or gas moons as well. So yeah, there we go. So we've got a purple and green one here. A bit of yellow in the south as well. Very, very close to the parent planet. I'm pretty sure some of these will get torn up. We've got a beautiful looking blue one here with some green in the south as well. But yeah, very, very nice blue there. Um, there's also this guy over here. So this is a red version of the blue one we just saw, pretty much. Just red instead of blue there. So yeah, there we go there. All with different colored trails. It's awesome to see different colored trails. All right, okay, so back to this, the main star. So yeah, we visited that planet. So then we've got some more um, objects out here as well. So then we've got this one here. This one looks pretty awesome with the amount of um, different colors it's got on it. Wow. So if we just get a little look underneath um, that atmosphere. So. There it is there. It looks like a Ganymede texture. That's my guess. I'm pretty sure that is Ganymede. Um, a tinted Ganymede, which um, is quite interesting. It looks really cool, actually. Um, but yeah, there we go. So the atmosphere back on with the white clouds. Very, very nice indeed there. Uh, and then moving on to the next one. Ooh, an even um, nicer looking object. Well, this one's got loads of ice on it as well. A green atmosphere. We've got some oceans as well. That's a, that's a nice looking object as well. Let's check the stats on this. So we've got 94 and 64 there. So again, high stats, very, very high stats in this system. That is a really nice green star, I have to say. Uh, and we've got waste over here. So this one is like a barren wasteland by the looks of it. Yeah, not really too much going on here. We've got some few pockets of water, some clouds. Yeah, there we go there. So yeah, there we go. So that is waste. And I believe that is all of the objects around this one. So yeah, there we go. Right, now heading out to the green... And we did the green star, so there's nothing there. Then heading out to A1. So now we have a cyan blue star. This one's got a ton of objects in all There's a ton of objects in here. So we've got this one here. So it's a very, very light blue. Nice shade of blue. Then we got um, the I Like Trains gas giant. That is a, that is a crazy coloured looking gas giant. Wow, look at that. Oh, that is weird. Whoa. So is that... That's a Neptune texture. With an ultra red... Wow, that's a... How have you made this? So it's, it's, a, it's a Neptune, there's no atmosphere on this. Yes, that's a Neptune, that is definitely Neptune's colours. There's no atmosphere on it, but it's got this crazy red glow to it. So we've got a studio. How did you get that red glow, I wonder? That's that's pretty interesting, look at that. So there we go, there it is there. So it's like a red tint on top of it. And it, well, that is very strange. Wow. Very interesting. It's, it's massive as well compared to the star. It's about the same size as the star. Um, right there, so this is even bigger than the star, actually. So yeah, very, very large indeed there. Then next up, we got big stone out here. So it's a yellow and purple object here. So pretty nice looking one, this one. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep on the studio. But yeah, there we go. It's a yellow and purple there. Probably got some good stats on it as well. So we've got 31 and 25 on this one. Um, then moving on to this one down here, got a ton of unique and interesting objects in here. So this one's a Venus-like object. It, oh, actually, no, it's an Earth. It's an Earth with like a Venus-like atmosphere, so it's almost like a future version of Earth. Is there any oceans? It doesn't look like there is, because there's no clouds. Yeah, so it's a dried up Earth. It's got some city lights on it, though. It's not realistic. See, so there we go. So we can see it's not getting much um, sunlight, but you can see there is some regular city lights. not Earth city lights, just regular city lights on it. So yeah, there we go there. So it's like a barren, abandoned Earth. The um, star colour really changes the way it looks as well. But yeah, there we go. Looking good. Uh, so we did. Now we've got this one over here. So this one is also rolling with a pretty, uh, pretty thick atmosphere, as we can see here. So there we go. It's, whoa! Look at it with the starlight. That green. Wow! Very aqua-looking object. But yeah, there it is in full appearance. So let's get a look under there. So it's actually another flooded Earth. You can see the um, Africa there. So it's all flooded up. So yeah, there we go there. So let's uh, turn that back on. Head back to studio mode. It's a pretty interesting bunch of objects. Uh, and then we have this one out here. So this is a more red um, colored one as we can see here so yeah there we go no thick atmosphere that's um, that's all of it there so that's massed so there we go right and now moving up so the next object is Lars over here so here we go here so this is going with a uh, much darker sort of cooler color looking object right here so there we go there that is that one right and now we have this one over here so this one is one of the random generated names I've seen this one before so yeah, there we go. That's a lovely looking combination of green and purple there. Look at that. Wow. With starlight as well, it makes it look more blue. But yeah, just get a, the green surface with the purple atmosphere. Really, really like the um, color combination. I think it looks great. Especially from this sort of view. That looks, that looks really cool. Really like that one. So there we are. 
Uh, next up, we've got Natural Blue over here. So this looks like a, um, a similar version of my Planet 9, or may actually be the exact model of it. I mean, yeah, my Planet 9 has a similar amount of bands. So there we go. So we've got a very nice um, Planet 9 looking object right there. So there we go. Um, then we have Venus by KSB Planets. So over here, and I think I've, se I've seen a Venus like this before. I'm pretty sure I have a copy of one like this. Let's see. Venus. Maybe not. I'm sure I'm sure I did have some sort of glowy... I think it was... Was it glow? I think it was this. Is, is this it? That's, oh, no, I don't want to close it. No. Is, is that the same? No, no, that's a different one. But I've got one that's quite similar to it. But no, it is, it's definitely different. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, here it is here. So Venus... This is, this is crazy. Let's get a look underneath this atmosphere. So, there it is. So it's just a regular Venus underneath, but that atmosphere. Oh, very, very bright. Let's get, let's actually um, take her and all this off. Let's actually head into it. Oh, very, very bright indeed. But let's uh, sort of, yeah, look at the atmosphere haze on that. But I'm sure if we go underneath it, of course, yeah, it just get, ruins it. But yeah, look at that brightness on there. Wow. Very nice indeed there. Let's see what it looks like on realistic mode. Let's see. Also, it just gives it a green sort of tint to it. That's, that's pretty cool. Very, very bright as well. Wow. Very nice. So, yeah, there we go there. And that is all of the objects around A1. So, now heading out to B1 now. So, giant gap. So, we're heading here now. This one is a yellow star, as we can see here. Not, oh, that's a beautiful looking yellow there. So, there we go. That's got, that is a, there's a big rock in here. Wow, okay, I'll have to compare that to some of the other big rocks I've got. But yeah, there we go. Let's check out the other planets first. So we've got this one over here. We've got that shadow glitch going on due to the amount of stars. But the studio mode, so it's white and blue, as we can see here. So there we go. And we've got another object very, very close to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you click play on this, it would definitely, uh, definitely mess some stuff up, I think. Here we have a cloudy looking Mars. Yeah, that's a Mars with a gas giant texture on it, I think. Or, the, or vice versa. It's a gas giant with a Mars texture. So, yeah, there we go. Right. Then we have this one over here. So, this one is a, a more generic looking gas giant, as we can see here. So, that's probably a random spawn. So, yeah, there we go. We're now heading on to this big rock. That is absolutely enormous. Quite a nice looking one as well. The green atmosphere, the white clouds. But let's, let's compare it to the ones I've got. See um, how it compares. So, here we go. So, I'll spawn my what version. Now, yeah, that's a lot bigger. But let's see, has it got the lock feature? Yeah, it does have the lock feature, yeah. So that's, that's um, in theory, it's a cheat because you, to make a true one, as we declared, you know what, you have to have this calculated radius switched on to get it. So, yeah, this is a little, uh, it's a little cheated one, I guess, but still a very big rock indeed. But yeah, that padlock feature doesn't make it an official one in my eyes with all that. But yeah, very, very nice looking one indeed there. So yeah, we've got big, um, big rock there. Right, and next up we've got Crack Jupiter. So I'm guessing this one must have some rings around it because we have definitely not seen 3,000 objects. And yeah, there you go. There are the rings. So here we go. And this one's got an absolutely crazy amount of bands on it. So it looks like it's a regular Jupiter, but he's uh, changed a lot of the bands up. So this area here, this is definitely part of a regular Jupiter. But yeah, he's, he's definitely combined and put a lot of different bands into it. So yeah, there we go. And there's all of its colors. But yeah, there we go. And it's also got some cyan rings around it too. But yeah, there we go. So I believe that is it for this system. A very interesting one. But yeah, sadly, I don't know who sent it in. Because their name is just syllables and stuff. So I can't actually um, tell you who made it, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there we go. But a massive thank you to them for sending this in nonetheless. And also, if you guys want to send in your own systems as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. Or you can let me know the name of it in the comments on the Steam Workshop. But... Um, please um, please note, I may not see your comments, so you may have to remind me more than once to do that. But yeah, the, the best way to do it is to do it onto my Discord, because you can just post it into a list, and then I can definitely get around to doing it um, at some point there. But yeah, overall, for this system, a very, very nice collection of objects. We've also got the black hole in here, so it's quite a new system with the coloured black holes. We've got the coloured stars. We've got this very strange purple um, star here. We've got this also, this, the, um, this one here. This one also had very very strange indeed how it's got that ultra red purple glow, pink glow on it very very cool indeed but yeah really like the stars in here a lot of the planets to me were very notable i think some of my, one of my favorites out of the gas giants oh that's a very hard choice but i think this one just just the way it appears i think it looks great so we got that one there i'll see the glowing green gas giant that's really really cool my favorite star is definitely the yellow one here really really like the like color it's got i'm um, going to the rockies though oh there's so many to choose from i mean th this one here that was definitely one of the most most notable to me um this pink one i think was quite good and then i think this one too i, I did really like the way um that one looks so yeah there we go there are my picks for um 
the best um, sort of objects in my opinion let me know what you guys think down below but yeah that is everything so let's see if we can go for 30 likes a day on this video guys and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers and yeah with that all out the way guys make sure you all have a great day and i will see you in the next video goodbye